This question belongs to engineering mathematics subject and was asked in GATE CSE 2023. So the question states that u equals to 1, 2, 3 up to n where n is a large positive integer greater than 1000. Let k be a positive integer less than n. So we have u equals to 1, 2, 3. Then we have k somewhere in between. Then we have n. So k is less than n. Now what we have? Let a and b be subsets of u with cardinality of a and cardinality of b equals to k. So cardinality of a equals to k, cardinality of b equals to k. So as we know that if both had cardinality equals to k and a intersection b equals to 5. So see, we have a as a subset of a being a subset of u and b being a subset of u. We say permutation of u separates a and b if one of the following is true. So either first is true or second is true. All the members of a appear in the permutation before any members of b. Which means let us suppose we have some part as a. So if we have k over here and some part is a and other part is b and some part is also left over. Let me uh, give you an example for this. Suppose we have u equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 up till 1005 let us assume. And we have k equals to 3. Then what we need to do? We need to basically select 3 items for a and 3 items for b such that if we suppose select uh, 2, 1, 2 and 4 for a so 1, 2 and 4 comes for a and 5, 6 and 1005 comes for b ok then all the members of a appear in the permutation before any members of b which means first of all we will have a and then the item of b will start because all the members of a should come before any member of b which means even with the minimum member everything should be before or all the members of b appear in permutation before any members of a which means we can take this as b and this one as a and we ha can have the same thing we can't have something like a will have 1, 4 and 5 and b will have 3, 6 and 7 why? because here 4 is not less than 2 it's greater than 2 so it won't satisfy the condition a as well as condition b any one of them must be satisfied ok now see what we need to do so we have n and we have k so first of all we need to select the number of items for a and b as it is a possibility that k will not have all the items a and b might have some items might not have all the items let us suppose here a had 1 2 and 4 and b had 5 6 and 1 0, 0 5 then many items are left like 5 is 3 is left 7 is left 8 is left 9 is left so many items are left so first of all out of this all items we need to select a and b so a and b has size k and k which means total 2k elements so we need to select 2k elements from them and what about the rest of the element how many elements are left n minus 2k are left which means all these elements are left do we have any restriction on them no we have restriction only on the items of a and b which means these n minus 2k elements can be permitted in any number of ways ok now we have selected for a we got we got 2k items so 2k items include 1 2 4 and 5 6 1 0 0 5 now we need to see half of them which means exactly k must be a and k must be b we know the initial k would only comprise of a as if anything else over here has a then the b part will be less than a so the first k would be a so this can be done in one way and the second k would be another k this is for a they, we do not need to select anything the first k part would be a and the second k would be b now they can be permitted internally we can have 1 2 4 2 1 4 2 4 1 1 4 2 so we have k permutations for a so it's k factorial and 
let me clear this out and we have another k factor for permutations for b okay so what is the answer let me explain it to you once more and write it more clearly see what we need to do we need to we have total n items we need to select 2k items for what for a as well as b now leftover items these are leftover items they can be permitted in any number of ways they do not have any uh, restriction now a is the first k part is a and the second k part is b so we got nc 2k into n minus 2k factorial now see we will have a and b a can be permitted in k factorial and b can be permitted in k factorial now see this first and second condition can be used interchangeably which means this first can be a or this can be a we can have a b or b a so we will have two possibilities for this so it is 2 into nc 2k into n minus 2k factorial into a factorial which means size of that which is k factorial into k factorial which can be written as k factorial whole square so answer is option d we can write as nc 2k is equivalent to n and 2k this is the same notation as combination so we have nc 2k into 2 into n minus 2k factorial into k factorial square so answer is option d